Over 20 years ago, 1993, photographer Bill Getz, the guy behind the camera right there, and myself got to interview Grandma Holt. She was 90 at the time. She died at the age of 98. Her name is on this school, Bertha Holt Elementary, but she was more than a name. She's affected thousands and thousands of families because she cared so much about kids. So the last few weeks, we split up the story that we did to show you different aspects of Grandma Holt. Tonight, we're going to air the whole thing, all 10 minutes. Sit back, enjoy yourself. This is what history looks like with a heart. KZI-TV, Eugene. She's 90 years old, a farmer's wife, a nurse, a college graduate, a jogger, the mother of 14, and the grandmother of 65,000. Yes, we did say she has 65,000 grandchildren. Her name is Bertha Holt, and this woman has changed the world for thousands and thousands of people. <laughs> Well, that's our wedding picture. We were married in um, uh, Denver, Colorado. <laughs> what year? 1927. When Bertha Holt talks about her life, she always starts with her husband, Harry. And when he was courting me, we uh, had an airplane ride, one of these barnstorming ones, and we paid by the pound. <laughs> Harry Holt was a Cresswell farmer, a logger, and a man who loved children. He and Bertha had a family of their own. They were in their 50s and thought six children was plenty. Until one day, they saw pictures showing thousands of helpless orphans in war-torn Korea. And he just pumped up all the courage he had, and he sat up real straight, I would like to go to Korea. Oh, I said, that's wonderful. And he looked rather surprised. And then he asked, how many do you think we could take care of? And that was when I didn't have the courage to say, oh, eight. Harry went to Korea and brought back eight orphans to add to their family. There was no turning back. The Holtz knew their calling was to match up orphans in Korea with childless couples in the United States. Shortly afterwards, Harry was back in Korea building an orphanage. Bertha stayed home and cared for their 14 children. In those early days, dozens of adoptive parents would fly to Korea together on one airplane. Bertha says it thrilled Harry to see the children finally meet their new parents. But it grieved them that not every child found a home. Harry Holt dedicated his life to the children until he died in 1964. Bertha and a dedicated staff took over. And I said, well, let's just try it for a year. And if we see that we can't, uh, if the loyalty was all to Harry instead of to the adoption program, well, then um, we can quit. But. Um, then uh, the Lord uh, just kept it up and it just uh, got better and better. And so then eventually uh, they saw that the Lord is going to bless it anyway. What we found in post-revolution Romania, confined in cribs within state-run orphanages, thousands of children, victims of cruel policies in which Romanian authorities had allowed children to live in subhuman conditions. And people kept calling and calling saying, yeah, uh, what you going to do about Romania? When a crisis arises anywhere in the world and children are in need, Holt International Children's Services is one of the first agencies to arrive. We have definitely come to the decision that we've got to do something and we've got to do it now. We didn't have enough money. We didn't have anything on our budget for Romania. Uh, finally, we said, let's just go ahead. And then people began to donate. God took care of it. <laughs> we, we had to have money. It costs a terrible amount of money to start in a new country. Eventually, Holt found families to adopt these children. Okay. And the agency's work continues okay, today in 15 countries okay. all this over the, the world. Action. Bertha is the backbone, the inspiration, and the muscle behind it all. Even at 90, she still has a hand in the daily operation. They call her grandma and give her the same respect 
When she walks into the room, everyone stops what they're doing to hear what she has to say. Good morning, Good morning. Hi, Grandma. Good morning. I went to India and I saw, so uh, they named that new building Bertha. Did they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> Who'd ever think that? When she's not at the office, Bertha Holt is traveling the world, visiting her orphanages. This one is in Pune, India. She's never far from the children. On her most recent visit, as she's done countless times before, she brought a child home with her. It, it's such a joy to come uh, to escort you across the ocean, way, way from India. This girl's new parents live in Fargo, North Dakota. And one, one of these days, maybe I can see you again. You won't know me, but I will remember you. It's hard to realize there was a time when some people couldn't accept the idea of foreign adoptions. Over the years, in her own quiet way, Bertha Holt has helped change those attitudes. The older people who've been raised with that prejudice all their lives, they're not going to change. But sometimes the grandfather said, if you bring home a child like this, uh, a child uh, from another country, uh, he, he, you don't ever bring him to my house. But after he comes, he gets so interested. Everybody says, oh, he's just beautiful, he's so intelligent, and he's charming. Then I get a picture of Grandpa holding the baby in his arms, just all covered with smiles. That's what Bertha Holt's life is all about, changing people's outlook and changing children's lives. We had their picture when they were in the orphanage, woe be gone and thin, and just looked hopeless, helpless. And, and their eyes just looked so sad. And then after they'd been in a home for one week, they were different people. They were just shining and <laughs> so eager. Everything changed. They knew they were loved. Bertha still keeps in touch with many of her 65,000 adoptees. Each summer, the agency sponsors picnics for the adopted children and their families. And Grandma attends when she's in the country. I tell them, maybe I'm so old now, maybe I can't come back next year. And so then they all line up and have pictures taken with their family with me in it. And they always want to brag to me about their children. And they brag about their looks, about their scholastics, about their um, uh, sports, and their music ability and their art. Oh my, they, uh, I can't tell you how much they brag. <laughs> Bertha Holt has changed the world, and she's still working on it. But she doesn't take the credit. She says she's just a good listener. God planned it. We didn't know anything about orphanages or orphans. We didn't know about international law. We didn't know about uh, welfare of children, except that uh, they're God's children and they should be cared for.